So there are a multitude of languages in the world, and there are two types of languages. One is our visual, verbal, you know, goes to our normal senses, like hearing or seeing if you do sign language, and seeing if you're looking at people's facial expressions and the actions that they're taking. But there's a secondary type of language, which is one of them I know, and mine is astrology, and I understand the language of astrology. And some people, it's other energy healing, shamanic or energy healing. Uh, those are what's not considered normal. And when we speak, you know, we only use 10% of our brain. And there are, if you look at a microscopic view or a telescopic view of the world, of yourself, of this plate, mm -hmm. of a leaf, we are going to see auras, we're going to see colors, we're going to see light, we're going to see sparks, we're going to see energy, okay? This is, this is real, okay? We're not making it up. We can't see it with the naked eye, but when we're not on earth and we're in another earth form, so we've crossed over and we're still living in another veil around earth, or when we're extremely evolved, I'm not there. <laughs> That's my own fault. I should uh, really be focusing on being as clean, clean, clean as possible. We can see colors. We can, when we're children, we can see this. We can see rainbows on everything, uh, flashes and sparkles and light. We can see through. We can see around it. We can feel its energy. We can see its energy. We can see if it's positive. Remember Dr. Emoto's where he took crystallized water? And that water, when it was given an ugly sound or an ugly phrase on it, it, the water crystallized into a very dark, ugly form. And when it was a positive, it was a very positive form. Our mind seems to be only focused on cognitive thinking. And we're trying to trust that to judge how to navigate us through life, to navigate people, jobs, where should we move, places, things, people we should connect with or not connect with. And often we have to become hurt or we have to go in the wrong direction before we realize that we've got to go off in another direction. That's what I like about astrology because it can help people make different choices that way ahead of time. But if we lived in the world we should be living in, in the mind we should be living with, we wouldn't need that. We would see light. We would see dark. We would see good. We would see bad automatically.